Yo, what the hell's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress less than 30 and in this video we're going to add a plugin to our WordPress installation. <laughs> Alright then, so what is a plugin? Well, a plugin is just a package of code that someone else has written somewhere, some other developer, and we can use that code, we can install that plugin into our WordPress setup and then we can take advantage of its extra functionality. All right, so say for example, we want to build some kind of gallery on our WordPress setup so that users can come into the back end of WordPress and add images to the gallery. Instead of writing all that code ourselves in the HTML and PHP theme files, instead we could just go out there, find a plugin that does it for us and then install it. Okay, that's how easy it is. So to install plugins and see what plugins are available, all you have to do is go to plugins and then go to add new. These are the two that come with WordPress already installed, but go to add new, and then whatever plugin you want, you just search it right here. You can also see the popular or recommended or favorites. Uh, I'm just gonna search for gallery, and press enter, and now you're gonna see tons of different gallery plugins come up like that, okay? If you click on one of them, then you're gonna see a bit of information about that plugin, a description, installation process, screenshots, FAQ, all that jazz, plus a rating as well. Uh, this one looks pretty good because it's got like 4.5. So that's really cool. If you want to install it, you just click install now. I'm not going to install a gallery plugin on this tutorial. I want to install a contact form so that people can make a reservation for this restaurant. Right. So I'm going to search for contact form and it's going to be contact form 7 because this is one I've used in the past and I quite like it. All right, so there we go, contact form 7. Uh, click on it, gives you a bit of information, and then we can just install now. This is probably going to take like a minute to do. All it does is install or download the uh, the zip file, then unpacks it and installs it. Then you have to activate it yourself by clicking this link. And then it takes you to the plugins page where you can see we now have contact form 7. All right, cool. So... If we wanted to go into the settings of this, we just click settings and it's going to give you a few different links to documentation and other helpful things. What it's done for us is automatically set up the first contact form so we can go and check that out if you want. We'll click on that and what we'll do is just change the title to reservation form because that's what this is going to be used for. All right, And down here is where we put the different fields or elements in our form. So currently we've got the name, we've got the email, subject, message, and then the send button. Now, I don't really think we need a subject or message field. So I'm going to delete those two, but I am going to insert one new field area, and that's going to be the date field. So all these different buttons here are going to insert the different fields on your form for you dead easily. So I'll click date, and we'll call this reservation date. Uh, we don't need a default value, that will do. Insert tag, okay, date, reservation date. I'm gonna pop that between P tags like the rest of the elements in this form. God, if I could type properly, that is. Okay, so then all we have to do is click save. And then you'll see at the top, copy this short code and paste it into your post page or text widget content, this thing right here. So what we need to do is right click and copy go into our pages and then into reservations and then right here we're just going to paste in that short code and save it and that is going to go out grab that form for us that we just set up and display on this page so if I refresh this reservations page over here now you're going to see that form so we can fill everything out choose a date nice little date picker that it's done for us here and then click send and we can set up additional options so that when users click that send button, different things happen. So let's go into um, plugins again and go to settings of contact form seven, um, which by the way is here. It's just installed this new link on the sidebar. So we could just click contact. And then if we click on reservation form, go to mail. This is where we control who it goes to. So this is the email address it goes to when someone clicks send. This is the form, uh, from um, field, the subject, any additional headers, message body. So we can customize all of this. 
plus here custom messages so when it was sent successfully this custom message is going to show on the website plus loads of other different things that we can customize as well additional settings here we just click save when we're all done and voila everything's taken care of that is how easy creating a contact form on wordpress is instead of creating all that code all that kind of validation that jazz we don't need to worry about it we just install a plugin and we're ready to go dead simple it's also good because your users um, are probably not going to be the most technical people otherwise they would have made the website themselves so it's good for them as well they can go and edit the form if they need to without getting in touch with you and saying look can you make changes to the website so it's good for clients and you as well really cool so like i say tons of plugins for pretty much anything you want look if you wanted a stripper to strip on your website every time a user clicks a button there's probably a plugin for it somewhere anything you want probably you're gonna find it so yeah make use of them um if you have any questions about this whatsoever feel free to drop a comment down below otherwise guys um i'll see you in the next video